I hear from teachers almost every single day who are frustrated because their students either don't know the basic multiplication facts or they don't remember them from previous years. For many teachers, this frustration stems from a feeling of just not knowing what else to do. You're doing the small group work, doing the practice, the reinforcement, the game playing, all the things you're supposed to be doing, but kids just still aren't seeming to get it. For other teachers, in particular those who teach upper elementary grades, this frustration often comes from a lack of time. When your students come to you, they're already supposed to know the multiplication facts so that you can spend your time focusing on more complex concepts like multi-digit multiplication or long division. However, we know that a lot of kids don't come to you knowing their multiplication facts, so you end up spending time filling those gaps instead of teaching what you're supposed to be teaching. Sound familiar? When it comes down to it, all we really want is for our students to be fluent with multiplication. We want them to not only know the multiplication facts, but to remember them. However, there's a big problem. There are many kids who are not able to remember those multiplication facts because they don't truly understand what multiplication actually means. The key word here is understand. We have to teach multiplication in a way that promotes understanding not in a way that promotes getting an answer really fast. We spend so much time focusing on getting the answer, so much time focusing on memorizing the facts and, and doing it really quickly. We don't spend enough time focusing on the thinking that leads to that answer or the understanding that leads to that answer. So today I want to share one really small but effective tip with you that is going to help you take the focus off of the answer and on to the thinking so that your students can build that understanding that will eventually result in true fact fluency. Okay, so I want to encourage you to stop focusing on multiplication questions like this that simply focus on a product or an answer and start focusing on multiplication tasks like this that require some deeper thinking. So this can be a complete game changer in the way your students understand multiplication. Let's just take a look. So if we're looking at the left side and I'm simply filling in the blank, filling in the product, I am going to figure out two times three, it's six, I'll write down the answer and my work is done. What have I reinforced here? Well, I've reinforced the fact that two times three equals six and that's really about it. I haven't made any other connections. I haven't really built much understanding. Um, I'm really just focusing on the answer. Now let's take a look at the right side. If I know two times three, what else can I figure out? Now just think of all the possibilities here. So I'll share a few that came to my mind, but I'm sure you have many more. And if you do, be sure to leave those in the comment section below. So, um, okay, let's see. If I know that two times three equals six, then I know that three times three is just going to be one more group of three. So that's gonna be nine. Um, if I know that two times three equals six, then I know that I, I'll double that. So now I know that four times three, the product is also going to double. Now I have 12. What if I, so I'm gonna imagine this as an array like this. Here's my two, oops, two groups of three. Now if I, let's say I triple that. So I start with two times three, which is six, and then I'm going to triple it. So there's a double and there's the triple. Now I have six groups of three and what's going to happen to my product? It is going to triple as well. What if I start with two times three? I know that that's six and then I take away a group of three. Now I know that one times three is going to be three less than this product, so I'll have three. Um, what if I make 10 times the number of groups? So I start with two times three, and then I um, have 10 times the number of groups, and so I have 20 groups of three. Well, what's going to happen to my product? It's going to be 10 times bigger as well. So now I have 60. I could go on and on and on here, and you could have a conversation in your classroom that would probably last 15 minutes just based on the fact two times three and all the different connections that you could make. Just think, here you're, you're teaching your students, you're reinforcing the fact that two times three is connected to three times three, and it's connected to four times three, six times three, 20 times three, one times three. We're just 
we're just reinforcing all of those connections and all of those important relationships. This completely changes the level of understanding that is required and that is being built. Your students are going to benefit so much more from an, an activity like this where they focus on those connections than they will from answering 30 multiplication equations on a worksheet. Also, this is way more fun. This requires a level of thinking that doesn't happen on your typical multiplication worksheet. So I wanna hear from you in the comments, what else can you figure out if you know that two times three equals six? And I encourage you to try this small change with your students and just see how it changes the level of thinking in your classroom. And I'd love to hear how that goes for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.